could import something else like a hi-hat that'd be good might put the hat in here first go to file import audio file go into the sample library go to hats go into this nice <coughs> EQ'd hat here open it up left click on it right click we're going to go down to audio we're going to events to part like we did before on the kick we're going to change this quantize back to bar gonna double click on this hat part we just want this on the off beats now when you've got a part like this you can change the length of it by clicking on this bottom right you can't go longer than it actually existed in the first place but you can go shorter at the moment it's on snap so we're gonna turn the snap off so we can get exactly the length we want I'm gonna go say just over a quarter of a beat not quite half a beat somewhere in between and I'm going to drag this little arrow up the top. This will fade out very slightly so that you don't get um, any clicking as the sound disappears. Just handy to grab that in. And um, you can also change the volume uh, using this top one here. There we go. So we're going to turn the snap back on. Click on the part. Control D copies it. And we're going to do that again and copy these across here. Now we should have some sort of hi-hat. We probably want to change the volume. Now, with kicks, I tend to play them. I'm just going to mute this, actually. We probably want to change the volume a bit, so I'm just going to mute this hat for the moment. Here's mute. That mutes the hat. Or you could solo the kick so that only the kick is playing. Down here, where it says channel, click on the little fader, and a box comes up so that you can uh, adjust the volume. We'll go into loads more functions later, but I'm just going to get the kick down to a level so that it peaks just below this S here for the solo. That's so that we that's so that we've got a little bit of space for when we want to um, change the mix down as we go. I'm just going to get this hat and drag the volume right down to start with. Play the kick and bring it up. I'm not mixing anything down particularly at the moment, just getting an idea of what it sounds like. So we got the basic principle of uh, importing things. We might get a, a clap in here at the moment. There we go, I'm going to write clap in. File, import, audio file, claps. You have the <laughs> clap. Sample sources are really important and um, you've got to understand that just because a clap's really, really long doesn't mean you can't shorten it off or imagine how good it would be as a uh, shorter clap. So uh, I'm going to open up this one. I'm just going to press 3 to get this scissor thing up, or you could go up here and delete this block. Right click, events to part. There we go. Get into that. I'm going to shorten it right down. Rather than dragging this bottom bit, I'm just going to chop it with the scissors to half a beat and just dump it on here on the second and fourth beat. We're not uh, teaching imagination here, we're just uh, chucking parts in. So close the box down, we've got the clap, bring the volume down and uh, play the part. Now, you can start the play bar off by dragging it to the first point or you can use these shortcuts down on your keypad assuming you're using a PC with some sort of uh, number pad on it. One takes the play bar to the left hand locator, two jumps it to the right hand locator so that's pretty handy and I'm using enter on that number pad to um, start the track or you could press space and we're just going to bring the volume up with the clap And um, so we've got the basics of uh, some audio. I'll do some more audio as we go because we need to go into the EQ and insert effects and send effects and grouping and all of these things and the mixer. But uh, for the moment, we've got the basics of audio. So um, that concludes lesson one.